In this video, I plan to detail on how you can synchronize a document library that resides on a SharePoint site with your local computer. The reason that you're going to want to do that is that you will always have the most up-to-date and freshest versions of documents that reside in that document library on that SharePoint site on your local machine, so you won't always have to navigate to that site to get those documents. The first thing that we need to do is access web access. So the easiest way to do that is navigate to Loudoun County's main page and click on staff. And the fourth item down on the staff employees resource page is Outlook Web Access or OWA. If I click on that, I'm given a warning message. I can simply click accept and it's going to bring up a login page. And the way that you log into OWA is simply use your network user ID with at LCPS on the org, on the end, just like you see right here. And then whatever your network password may be. While this loads, by default, the Outlook web app always opens up to mail. Mail is not the only web app that is available, though, when you out access this uh, service, Office 365. Right across the top, in your blue bar, you'll see many different services of Office 365. There's Outlook, there's a calendar, there's the people, also known as your contacts, tasks, and OneDrive, and sites. What we're going to be focusing on here is sites and how we can synchronize those files that reside in a site with our local machine. So we're going to click on sites, and it's going to load the sites that are available to us as a user. You'll notice that down here I have some sites that I'm following. And if you have the site that you already want to follow and synchronize your documents, all you have to do is simply click on the site that you are following. If you're searching for a site, all you have to do is go up here in the search bar and type in a site name that you'd like to find and hit enter or click on the little search icon. And it will show all the different sites that have that terminology, that verbiage in it. In this particular case, I want to synchronize the document library with my Spidel test site. So I click on it, and it loads my site, and by default, it lo typically it loads the home page. On the left-hand side, you'll see a documents folder in most of your sites where you can synchronize documents. If you simply click on that documents link, it's going to load a page that has all the documents that reside in this SharePoint site. Similar to how we did with our OneDrive, uh, synchronization with our local machine. We're going to do here with our sites documents. Up at the top of the screen you'll see a synchronize button. If I simply click, simply click on that synchronize button it says do you want to sync this library now? You simply click sync now and just like it did before when we synchronize our OneDrive we're given a uh, screen that tells us where it's going to sync our files and you simply click show my files and you notice down here a new bubble pops up and it shows this files this folder is now being synchronized with my SharePoint site in the event that you want to navigate back to this you don't ever need to come back to this portal right here to check on what files are in your SharePoint site all you have to do is simply click on your documents library and underneath favorites, you'll see an icon that says SharePoint. It should be right below your OneDrive for Loudoun County Public Schools. If you click on that SharePoint link, it'll show you all the document libraries that are being synchronized with a SharePoint site. If I want to see the documents in that SharePoint site, all I have to do is simply double click on that icon and it will list all of the documents that are being synced with that SharePoint site. It's really that simple. So. As you boot up your computer, it will always check for the most recent versions of any documents. So you have no need, if you desire, to ever visit that document library again to make sure that you have the most up-to-date files available to you.